If you are coming on a cruise with Royal Caribbean, you're probably asking yourself, how do you maximize their Wi-Fi plan here, this surf and stream package, because it is not cheap, and so you only wanna buy as many as you need to buy. Today we're gonna to walk through how to best do that and how to think of your situation to purchase the right amount of devices by learning how you can, number one, sign up for the internet, and then number two, how you can use multiple devices on just one device plan. Hey everybody, it's Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And I know internet at sea is a hot topic. Some people love it and have to have it. Guilty. Some people say, you know what, I'm here to disconnect. I have no desire to have it. Either way, you're gonna need to log into the Royal Caribbean Wi-Fi so that you can at least access the app. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do all that. I should also mention that if you're coming on the ship, they're gonna have a sheet of information that they're gonna give you when you get here on exactly how to do a few of these things, but we're gonna go a little bit more advanced than what they're showing you on this sheet of paper. This will get you started, but we're gonna go over those pro tips that I know you all love. So the first thing we're gonna do, and this is recommended by most people when they come on a cruise, is go into airplane mode. That's just a safe bet. If you're gonna be buying the Wi-Fi package, use um, airplane mode when you're here. If you're on MSC or Virgin, to get their app to work, you actually have to be on it. I personally don't always use it, but I think for most people, especially if you're more of a novice at it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're do doing that. So we're gonna select the Wi-Fi guest network and then your ship name. So in this case, I'm on Independence of the Seas and I'm gonna click on that. Mine brings me to a place that I can sign in. And so if you do not see the sign in, you can always go to the onboard iCafe.com from your browser and that will get you to this same page. Now this is where you have a few options to sign up. The top one is if you actually wanna you know, get the internet, if you actually wanna buy a plan, you're gonna click on that one. The second one is you go, Brandon, I wanna disconnect, but I still need access to the app. You're gonna click on that one. That also has the free chat feature in it. So you don't have to pay to be able to chat with people on the ship as long as they all are connected to the Wi-Fi and have the app. And then at the bottom, if you don't have the, the um, app already, the Royal Caribbean app, make sure you're going ahead and downloading that. It's gonna make a huge difference in the enjoyment of your cruise. So I'm gonna click on access internet because I actually have already bought a package before I came on board. So it's already preloaded. So I'm gonna fill out all this information here and then I'm gonna come back as soon as that's done. So you all can't steal my identity. All right, so I just pressed next after filling out all that information on my screen. And you'll see that it's bringing me to a page that already shows what I have purchased. So if you book in advance, it's automatically gonna load based on your name and your stateroom. So I have two packages or two device surf and stream, or I can do one day full 24 hours. There's no cost to this. So I wanna go ahead and activate um, this package that I have here and click on activate internet. This is gonna say, congratulations, you are now connected to the internet. And to use that, I can simply just come over here and we can go, let's just search for dogs. Perfect, and it is working, which is fantastic. All right, so you've signed into one of your devices and now, see if you have two devices like I do, you're gonna to wanna to sign into another one. So what you're gonna do in this case is you're gonna to go to the browser. Well, you're gonna say that, let me step back. You're gonna do the same steps. You're gonna to go to airplane mode on your next phone. You're gonna select the independence and you can do sign in as well here. But what I wanna show you is that if I simply come over here to the URL and I type in login.com, it's also gonna take me to the exact same page. So I'm back here where I can choose to log into the internet or I can go and just um, have the free package. But I'm gonna fill out all this, I'm not gonna fill out all this information again because I already created a username and a password. So I'm just gonna click on sign into internet account and this is where I'm gonna activate this phone so that now I have two devices on my two device plan. So this is where things get interesting. So I wanted to talk to you all about how you can have multiple devices. So you're gonna buy a package of one, or maybe two, and you might even get more than that. But it doesn't mean that you can only literally use just one device per the device that you're buying. What it means is you can use one device at a time. This is different on other cruise lines. But for Royal Caribbean, you buy a package for one device and you can use it on many different devices, but you can only use one at a time. So let's walk through what happens. I'm logged into two other ones here. Let me quickly log in. And so I'm now at the login screen and I'm gonna try to log in here. 
but it should come up with an error and it did. So it's gonna tell me that my device limit is reached. This is technically my third device now. And I don't, I can only use, I've got a package for two, so I can use two devices at one time. This is a third device I'm trying to use at the exact same time. So it's giving me an option here of switch devices. And so if I click on switch devices, it's gonna connect me to the internet. But what it's gonna do, it's gonna kick off one of your other two devices. And that is based on what I call a first in, first out approach. So the first device to log in will be the last device, or excuse me, will be the first device that is logged out. So whatever the first device was that I just logged in, I think it was my laptop, I am now kicked out of that one voluntarily. Like you don't even get the choice. Um, this person just kicked that person off. So if you're sharing it with kids, that could become problematic. But a better way to do that, and you see it listed here on the bottom of the screen, though I don't think many people notice it, is it says logout.com. So if I am on a device, so I'm using my phone and I'm getting ready for bed, I can turn my phone off um, and allow somebody else to use that package. Or maybe I just want to go from one to the other and I want to control which one's kicked out. So if you come to your phone and click, click on logout.com, or just put it in your address bar, logout.com. It says you are now signed out. You can always come back and sign back in to reconnect. Or what I like to do or normally do is I just go to login.com and it's gonna take me right back to this location. So those are some pro tips on how to best utilize the Wi-Fi, the Surf and Stream package on board Royal Caribbean. Make sure you do not buy more packages than you need to or more devices than you need to. They are expensive. So if you can share those devices, you can come up with a game plan of how to do that. This might save you a good chunk of change if you use some of these pro tips of logging in and logging out on your phone. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser. Hoping to see you on a Weekend Cruise soon.